I like this. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Through my back out, I can't put socks on, so I had to go with <laughs> shoes that I didn't have to put socks on. <laughs> how, um, I know we talked to you the other night just about how things were kind of clicking. You guys go down to L.A., got that one out. Just how do you feel like things are working for you guys right now? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, it was a great team win, um, especially in L.A. Uh, it's a tough, tough place to win on the road, uh, especially in the NBA, man. But like I said before, um, a couple games ago, we, we're figuring it out, um, and we're getting super close. For you, does it still feel strange going down there, or does it feel like – you know, Sacramento's now home. Oh, yeah, no, I don't feel strange at all. Um, it feels more strange when I go to Charlotte because um, I've been, I was there for four years. So um, it was just a normal game to me. Yeah. I, I, I know you're super close to Fox, obviously. I'm just curious to get your perspective. Just what, what do you think has been the biggest difference for him this season? Have you noticed anything different in, with him? Nah, man, Fox don't be Fox. He, he, he's been doing that since he got in the league, man, and um, I'm not surprised. Um, every night he's going to go out and, and be at an all-star level, man. Um, we just got to win a couple games so we can get there for him. You know, talked before about learning to trust the offense. How much do you feel like that trust has grown recently? Oh, yeah, it's growing, man. It's growing every day. Um, every day we in here, um, we're getting better at it. Um, we're getting better at our concepts. We're getting better at um, knowing everybody, uh, position, knowing where people going to be at. So um, it's working out great for us. And how helpful is it that your role in minutes seem to be a little bit more defined and consistent recently? Oh, yeah, man, that, that helps a lot because um, I know I can help. Um, more than just one way on, on the basketball court, man. So um, Mike's still figuring it out. We're still figuring out our team, too, as well, though. So I'm going to be patient. Have you seen people who uh, like the look of the Band-Aid? Yeah, I've seen, I seen a couple of fans last uh, last night after, man. Uh, I'm going to keep it going a little bit more, uh, a little bit longer. <laughs> Is that just like a kind of keep what's working? Yeah, for, nah, I mean, you see the little cut. It, it yeah. came back because I've been wearing the Band-Aid. But um, hopefully I don't scratch it again and, and, and make it bigger. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to wear it again. You guys had a, a silent portion of, of practice today running the offense. What, what was that like? And weird. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, man. I, I never. We were just hearing shoes squeak and, and the ball bouncing, man. It was, it was weird. But like I said, it, it helps us get in our positions. Um, it helps us know what position to be in, where to be at, and uh, it just helps us learn, learn each other. Is it kind of fun to shake things up like that in practice? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's definitely fun, man. Uh, because it's something we've never done before. Um, and it's, it's, it's new to us. And like I said before, it's weird too. So you kind of get a little giggle out of it. That uh, Monday game, you felt like you'd given that one away. And here you are playing for the third time in such a small amount of, uh, of weeks, really. Just what is it like to, to get a test like that so early? And how do you guys feel like you've benefited from it? Yeah, man, we're still a new team. And, and, and just being close to the defending champs uh, is, is like, <laughs> what, what can you say about that, man? We, we, it tells us that we have a chance to be good. And um, I think we're seeing that um, e as each game grows. So we got to get it tomorrow, man. We all we all one. Mike talks about breaking up the seasons, the mini seasons, like five game increments. What do you think has been the biggest difference for you guys, like maybe first five versus the next five? Uh, the points um, of emphasis, um, changes within the team, within the game, um, and how we go about it. So that's been good for us because we, Never looked at it that um, aspect before, so um, it's just been, it's been a different look to not focus on the next game. It's just focus on this game right here, then that game, then that game, then that game. So Mike's been doing a great job with that. With Keegan going through what, what he's been going through, how, how have you guys, his teammates, just been sort of trying to prop him up and, and help him out through it? Oh, yeah, man, it's basketball. Uh, can't score every game, can't, can't get 30 every game. Uh, There's going to be games where you don't score. There's going to be games where you score a lot. There's going to be games where you get a lot of rebounds, man. So um, he's a rookie. He's going to get used to it. Um, I've been trying to just talk to him and, and let him know it's going to come to him. The game's going to come to him. We still got plenty more basketball to play. And um, yeah, I've just been trying to give him a lot of confidence. But well, what about like off the off the court stuff, like his family stuff? I know his, his dad tweeted about what happened with his mom. I'm just curious if you uh, guys. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I actually, okay. this is my first time hearing it. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Right. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm going to talk to him now. No problem. Since he told me. That Appreciate it. That second unit seems like you're just you have free reign to do whatever you want. Do you feel that? Do you have like a lot of leeway to either be the scorer or be the distributor in that second unit? Yeah, um, Mike putting a lot of trust in me now, man. Um, actually, everybody, all the, all the coaches, staff, but uh, the, my teammates, um, they know that I'm out there selfish, so they know I'm gonna make the right plays when I'm out there. So it feels great to, to have that um, a little leeway, but. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling it more um, each game. Is it a role that you're comfortable being that six man? Yes, sir. <laughs> thousand percent. 
thousand percent. Do you guys feel like, um, I know one of the knocks on this team in previous years was how they react to physicality. And that second unit really seems to, to, to handle it really well. How, how much do you feel like you guys have grown as a group in, in responding to teams that try to maybe punch first? Yeah, man. Uh, Davion starts it. Davion and Fox really starts the, the, the physicality because they own the ball so much and they can guard super well on the ball, man. So we just try to feed off of them. But with the second group, um, I try to come in and just get everybody amped up, um, get energized, things like that to, to have us and the first group to just bump back, man, and, and, and let everybody know they're not going to punk us. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.